How do I get this going? Okay, it's, I feel like it's kind of loud still. Oh. Whoa, now it's gone. Okay. Um, skip. It's probably the least, um, we're just gonna make a new window. Oh geez, I just realized my mic is like right in the middle of the keyboard. I'm gonna turn up the gain a little bit like that. Yeah, that's better. One of these days I'm gonna get it set before I start streaming. Yeah, one of these days. Um, okay. Oh, geez. Just gonna minimize that. Um, I didn't even realize like, how am I gonna see the chat? I put it up in OBS like, yeah, we're just gonna have to do it live again. Um, yeah, I, I really had to figure out how to get that working. We'll just, um, put my face like closer. Actually, yeah, we'll just put my face over it. Just keep it, keep it simple. Oh, it's a circle now. I figured that out. So that's good. Um, all right, let me just do what I did before. Close all my other stuff. Delete that stuff. Okay. Should really have done this before, but you know, what are you gonna do? Let me get, um, <clears throat> oh, you know what, I can just, watch the stream on my phone and I can look over. That's what I'm gonna do. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna, um, there, now I don't have to have this like half thing. Oh, and now I can bring back the chat. More OBS goodness. Um, okay, so it's like transparent and hopefully you can see it. Let me just take this down one more notch. There we go. It's messing with colors. Okay. All right, we got it. Okay, it's funny because I had it set up already. I swear I was, I was more prepared. I'm gonna, oh man, this, yeah, I really want this mic to be closer, but, um, but yeah, I'll just, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. can see the chat if I look over and I don't have to have it on the screen. Yes, perfect. Okay. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Um, I guess I could check um, if you can hear me. Let me see. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, you can hear me. Sweet. 
I uh, one of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna get it set up. One of these days. Oh, let me get rid of this. This music. Okay. I uh, I was actually looking up how to get the sound going. That'd be nice if the server was running. I was looking up how to get um, get the sound going, and um, I'm just gonna move this a little further away, just a little towards me more. There we go. Okay, what does it look like now? I don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Perfect. Okay, I have to have all these programs running to like get, so I have QuickTime recording audio. I have this MIDI thing um, running so I can have, I can listen to the feedback and the music at the same, so I can hear what you're hearing. Um, this black hole thing is pretty cool. We should, if you do Mac OS streaming, you should do that. Um, yeah, and then I have obviously OBS and and I have like my little GoPro thing because um, because yeah, that's that's just what I do. I don't want to use a real camera or anything, you know. Okay, so um, I have to fill you in on what what I've been up to since last time because I realized that I wasn't going to get anything done if I did everything on stream, so. I did quite a bit. Um, okay, so I moved everything into three files, right? Three um, Janet files. HTML Janet, Classes Janet, and Main Janet. This is licensed under MIT, but uh, whatever. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let me just explain why I did this. So this, I wanted a way to not have to run purge CSS um, oh, you know what? Let me just do this. Right. I wanted a, a way, um, um, oh geez, wow, what happened? To not run purge CSS and not install NPM. Like, okay, I just want to show you. Like, I don't have Node installed or any of that stuff, right? I don't want to. Um, so I came up with this weird hack, right? It's not really a hack. It's, um, you know, it's very lispy, right? It, you know, it's not invented here, right? Um, so I have this function that turns, well, first I'll just start with this. So this is like um, classes, like Tailwind classes. And this is um, like the element, right? So the element starts with a little colon and then, um, you know, it's, 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 it's hiccup, right? Um, and then when I wanna do like a modification Tailwind for some reason, I, I can't just like add this um uh in in here right so if i look at like vstack lg right it's actually kind of nice too because i have um everything's like an actual symbol uh so i can't like mistype anything because it'll fail to compile right so like if i did vtac right the thing says unknown symbol vtac right so vstack right there it's back up so this, that's a pretty cool side effect. But the other side effect that's cool is that I can just import this, this file, and get all the symbols as bindings in the current environment. That's what Janet lets you do. And I basically take everything that's a keyword, because this is not a keyword. This is a um, tuple, right? Tuple, tuple, tomato, tomato. And I, um, so I, yeah, so I import this thing and then I get every keyword, right? Which these are all keywords. Um, even this class thing is a keyword. Uh, and then, so that's what classes is, right? It, it does, the, it gets all the bindings in the current environment that are local to the environment. Uh, so like not built-in Janet things, basically. Uh, I get everything that has HTML prefix. I eval it all because they're all keywords and it doesn't matter. There's no like 
side effects or anything. I filter all the keywords out. I um, flatten. First of all, I, every single one I split it on the dot, right? So this part, right? So I get all these things, text, gray, 100, text, 5XL, divide by two. I get all the, the tailwind classes. And then I drop the elements, right? Like, as I don't care about each one. I only want tailwind classes. And then I um, distinct them. Let me just turn up the game a little bit. All right, is that a little better? Okay. I guess I'll turn down the music too. It's not super loud, right? It doesn't sound super loud. Um, yeah, it's not horrible, right? Okay, whatever. Anyway, so then I sort them just because whatever. And then um, I turn that into a tuple too, because I think at some point it became like an array, even though I don't know if I need these two. Whatever, I just like to do it because I like it when it looks, when you print it, it looks clean. Without any, um... I'm just gonna move this a little closer. There we go, is that better? All right. Um, I'm gonna turn that music down a little bit too. Uh, free music's like, it's like, you know, yeah, just random recording things and it's all different volumes. I think anyway, I don't know. Okay. Um, all right, anyway, so then I get Tailwind Min CSS, which I mean, it's, it's two megs, it's too much. Two megs is out of control. So, right? I mean, I think that's what they said anyway. Let me see, what does it say? Tailwind CSS is um, controlling file size. Yeah, so uncompressed and then minified. Yeah, it's um, two, yeah, two megs. And then, geez, I mean, Gzip's pretty good. Broadly's really good. 45K is like, I mean, you might as well just put the whole thing in there. But I slurp it, right? All right, load it into memory. I read it. Um, and then I like skip all the. Um, normalize stuff and then I start at the classes um that's what this is right normalize and then I have this like peg which is like a parsing expression expression grammar and it um accumulates all of the things all of the classes and classes are defined here uh as a sequence of a dot followed by these classes that I'm using right that's what this is or uh, that's what the plus is, right? So any of those classes, right? This is this is like a, a spread syntax or not spread? What do, they, what do they call it? Yeah, whatever, whatever it's called. Um, it's like basically apply this as um, arguments to this, right? So instead of like an array, it's like multiple, right? Like one, two, it's like hello world instead of instead of um. Well, that's that's crazy. All right. Um, so like, instead of that, it's it's just that, right? As arguments. Anyway. So that does that, and then it goes until the ending curly brace. So that's why I have to like sort of <laughs> like hack that in there because I'm not sure like of a better way to do that. Um, so I just put it put it at the end, whatever. And then so it accumulates all those as one big string, all the classes I'm using. Um, and it matches it here. Uh, it first of all, it compiles the parsing expression over here. Then it matches them, and then um, it gets the first match, which is all of them, right? And then it uh, uh, prepends the normalized CSS stuff, and then it outputs a custom Tailwind CSS thing. So that that only works because I have everything as symbols in this one file. HTML, and then I just reference everything um, from there. So, like, if I don't like need to, I'm just gonna use symbols or keywords. But when it comes in here, I I start using symbols because these are styled, right? This one, this one's not styled. So yeah, pretty sweet. I should actually turn this into a link. There we go. That's a little better. So now, um, here we'll just put that up again. 
so yeah uh after all that after i did all that i was kind of like well this is overkill maybe i should just go back to a normal stack instead of um you know whatever so yeah this is it in action right i have only a few classes so if you look at the file size um, but actually what is it oh geez um it's six it it's 6.6k 6.57k um it's like it's madness uh that's really cool um obviously it's going to grow as the project grows but um but yeah it's nice to know that eventually it'll hit like a steady state um I mean, for reference, look at this. HTMX is 22K. It's 7K gzipped, so in production, I'll gzip uh, with Nginx. But um, yeah, for now, I just do this. All right. Uh, so I also got, oh, what? What was that? What is that sound? Oh. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Um, Maybe it's because my phone's on. Whoa, madness. That's that's crazy. Uh, what if I turn this off? Hang on, it's like some weird fuzz. Oh, my stream's like probably the worst stream ever. Oh, oh jeez. Yeah, that's so bad. Wow, that's intense. Oh, wow. Whoa, there's like weird interference with my phone. Um, you know what? I'm gonna just put that over there. Oh, you know what else I should do is do not disturb because that would be terrible. Whoa. Oh, maybe it had nothing to do with the phone. Maybe it's just my mic. Oh. Oh, it's even worse as I talk. Maybe it's my headphones actually. Maybe you can't hear anything. Yeah, is that? Oh, oh, it's just my headphones. <laughs> okay, cool, great. Um, okay. Anyway, where was I? I also did GitHub auth last time, and oh, I'm also showing issues now, right? So across any repo, but I realized like showing GitHub issues. Here, I'll show you that code too. So this is where the issues come from, right? It's just a uh, just a GitHub GitHub API, right? It's pretty because I thought GitHub had um oh they had a GraphQL API, yeah um yeah, but I don't um I don't really care about that. I guess you know it's really hard to use, you know, if you don't have like all the GraphQL tooling. GraphQL is like SOAP 2.0. I don't, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but um, yeah, I'm not like a, um, super big fan of it, you know, with all the schemas and stuff. It's also, I'm not really a fan of um, strong typing, so maybe that's it, you know. Um, okay. I hope they keep this REST API around forever. It suck if, oh, oh, it says migrating from REST. Oh, jeez. I mean, I guess I can do this. I don't, don't really want, like, look at that. That's nice, right? This is like, like, what is that? That's, it's terrible. And then you've got this, like, look at all this extra stuff, like, it's like, oh, it needs four separate calls. Okay, who cares? 
Who cared? Does it matter? <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to keep using this for, for now. So actually, you know what? Let's look that up. GitHub API, uh, V3 API um, sunset date. Is that what they say? Sunset? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe they don't. This content. Oh, V3 versions. Beta, deprecated, deprecated, 2012. They have two stable versions. I can see them deprecating V3, but it's fine. It's fine. Like that dog with all the fire. It's fine. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the chat back. Hold on. Bear with me, OBS. Um, okay, here we go. The ch oh, the chat's already been there. It's been there the whole time. I just can't see it. Okay, well that kind of defeats the purpose. I don't, I don't know if I can't see it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that and then just put it on my screen like I did before. I just go back and forth, you know? I'm just gonna say fit to screen. There we go, okay. Bring it, bring it back. Um, okay. I really need to get one of those stream deck um, thingies or whatever. Oh, okay. I need to like pop out the chat. I really need to get pause that. Non mod pop out. Okay. I'll just put that right there. Boom. Okay. There we go. We'll change this too. And then we'll change this. All right. Okay. Um, does this thing not announce like um, people joining? Like that'd be mod settings. Should timestamp. Yeah, I don't understand what I'm doing. I should really start reading into this stuff. Manage moderation settings. Oh, jeez. Um, we'll just go back on our um, pause chat show readable dark mode. Ugh. I mean, it doesn't say when someone joins. I should really, I should really look into that. All right, but for now, we'll just get it real skinny and then just do that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, back to the GitHub API. Migrating. I'm not gonna migrate. Reference, so I went over here to issues, but honestly, like, since it's supposed to be a change log, I, I thought, why would you want to see the same issues that you already know exist, right? Um, music's weird. Yeah, you should, who cares if you see, um, who cares if you see issues? Oh, I guess that was the music. I thought that was someone talking. I was like, that's not good because I'm home alone. So <laughs> that's not good. Um, all right. Let me see. Oh, geez. I actually definitely click that. Yeah, so there's no point to see the issues, right? I think it's better to see like a little getting started thing. Um, you know, this is how the issues are working right now. So I just get all the issues for page 20, blah, blah, blah. blah. GitHub, blah, 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 or uh, V3, uh, I have the token from this down here, this GH callback, right? Uh, and I store it here. Oh, I um, I changed my database stuff to actually do upserts, so this is pretty cool, right? On conflict, login, do update, 
it's an access token. So you can just like log in, log out, same number of users, right? Every single time. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else did I change since I streamed last? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Not super. Um, I mean, I guess it is a lot of changes, but uh, but yeah. All right. Um, welcome to the chat room twice. Maybe that's just me. Oh yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um, all right. There's some kind of like lo-fi um, royalty free or something. I don't know. Free music archive. This could be terrible. Let's listen. Oh, no wonder this is terrible. It's dubstep. No offense to dubstep people. Can we listen to this? Is that fine? Let's try it. Free music art. Oh, it's not even working really. Oh yeah. Okay. Great. Um, whatever that is. Oh, these are just some. Oh my gosh. Chill gaming. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Um. I guess I can live with this. It's okay this stock photo you know i they're really high on google so i shouldn't uh they're the number two result for lo-fi royalty free music i shouldn't um yeah I shouldn't talk crap anyway uh okay so this is what i'm gonna do instead of, the, of showing the issues like there's almost no point to do that so what i should do is um say it, if you have, hmm. yeah, I'm kind of like torn on this because like if I say, um, yeah, I guess I can like add a little button that says like add to change log and then like it shows a preview right here. It's probably easier than like telling people to go back into GitHub and like do the thing. It should do both, right? Okay, so let's, yeah, let's just keep going with this then. Um, I'm gonna add a little button. Uh, oh, remember like two streams ago, I was like, oh, H-Tag and V-Stack. So this is, I actually did it. Um, it's just flex, uh, align self stretch, flex column. And this one's you know, the same thing, but um, center items and uh, flex row. So yeah, that's cool. So it's already working, right? Um, you can see it's working here because there's, this and then you have this over here and there's a spacer in between there's not a spacer in between interesting huh i wonder why why that's happening it's weird maybe because it's maybe because it's flex what if i get rid of it oh yeah i guess i need that what if i just do flex auto All right Or what if I do flex one? Oh. Oh yeah, the downside of my little um, thing is that I have to um, do that to get changes in there. Let's see, flex one. And now we should be able to see flex one actually, yeah. All right, well, whatever, let's do flex. Flex. Actually, what is, oh, display flex, yeah. Um, that's fine. I mean, I wish that it wouldn't do. Oh, cause this one's, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. That's the music. Okay. Uh, oh, dang, this is so freaking cool. 
Alright, whatever. Um, so I think I'm going to have a little thing that says like add um, to change log, right? And then I'm going to say like um, preview change log or I'll just show it. Um, so I'm going to, uh, it's like headway, is that what it's called? Change log? Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm going for. Actually, I'm kind of wondering how many Twitter followers they have. That's weird. I mean, let's look at it. 403. Sherman, did he make this? No. Um, yeah. So I like the way this looks, kind of. Um, not really, but. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's okay. I don't know, whatever. Uh, but this is kind of what I'm going for. I don't know what these badges, but yeah. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can get an embed YouTube video in issue. I don't think you can. I tested on it and it worked. Oh, GitHub pages. Markdown files. But maybe you can. just do like title date or like a go I guess and then like stuff images and stuff just the body of the issue that's pretty much it oh maybe I could do I could do tag I could do labels too github has it all you know all right so I think I want to make the preview first or do I want to add the have the button add This is kind of tricky actually because like I don't know if I want to have it um, save in the database or just always pull from GitHub. It's tricky. It's tricky. So like if I add this button and then I like actually change GitHub. I don't know if people want that. I mean, maybe. All right, two way. We'll just we'll just start with two way, and just always pull from always pull from GitHub. I don't know. That's probably a bad idea. From API usage limit standpoint. Plus, how often are people going back and changing old closed issues? And I'll just have webhooks. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna do two things. I'm going to, when you click the button to add it to the change log, right? Then it's gonna actually get inserted. Um, and we'll call that, we'll make a new table. We'll call it, um, what are we gonna call it? Changes. Changes. And then we'll cut, we'll have on um, user ID, integer, references, user's ID. Oh my gosh. Um, hang on, I'm gonna undo the mic for a second. Help, hello, oh, now I'm back, all right. Well, get, um, that's actually pretty pretty smart <laughs> that it could change ports like that. Uh, okay, so that's actually user's ID. 
and then um, uh, what else changes what else do I want I want um, do I care about the repository yeah this is actually kind of confusing when I think about it because you want a change log per project, right? So I'll do changes, users ID. I'll do, um, I'll do um, like a repo, right? Or uh, I guess like name. And then um, maybe like URL. I don't know if that's super important. And then I probably want, um, yeah, title. Actually, you know what? Putting, yeah, I'm gonna say title text. I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna tie this through changes comes through projects. That's a better. That's a better schema. Projects. Um, they have title, right? And they have um, a user ID. Yes, much better. And then. Um, they also have, um, okay, so when you sign in, yeah, maybe you want to like hook up a repo instead of issues. Yeah, maybe I should do like a two-step like repo. Yeah, okay, because I had repos on there earlier. All right. Yes. Okay, let's do that. Um, yeah, we'll do like what repo, repo ID or something. We'll just call it like GitHub repo ID. Um, and we'll do a text instead. Um, yeah, just keep it simple, you know? I mean, I always look at it, even though I know this particular one is fine. Um, I guess I can do um, unique title and user's ID. Then you can't make new projects with different titles. It's probably, probably okay. Um, and then maybe GitHub, no. Um, yep, yeah. okay, looking good. Migrate. Cool. I'm just gonna commit that before I go crazy with other changes like I always do. Update the schema. Yep. Um, create projects table. again for each repo repos I'm gonna say let repo get name no we'll just do py4 um, we'll do h stack I guess I could do something better with list like where it has the spacing divide y I could just do like space space y See if it works. Is it flex? No, it's not even flex. Uh, we can just do flex. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't need to check. We'll just do, for now, we'll just show it, right? We'll just do div. Um, and then we'll do repo name. Or we'll do repo full name. 
it looks like. Oh, that's ugly. Wow. Definitely worse than I thought it was going to be. Um, oh, there we go. Not bad. Not bad. There's my six. Four. So leave it the way it is. Better. Um, okay, cool. So full name and then we'll make it a link. And we'll say repo HTML URL. Better. And it actually gets the correct GitHub thingy. says that says hello whoa um, maybe it's time for an h2 text 3xl probably right um, h2 and we'll say let's make this a stack because why not Nothing. We'll just say nothing. Um, choose a repository or um, create a change log from a repository from a repo. We'll say um, one. Create a change log from a repo. <laughs> there we go. Um, and then. We'll just add, you know, we, we're going to do h stack because it's cool. We'll just do h stack and we'll say um, li uh, link. No, we need a button. Do I have a button? I don't have a button. It's not a call to action. Button. Um, we can say button, right? But you can't. Button. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but um, there's like some construction going on, I think. I'm not sure. All right. I don't even have the noise canceling on. Wow. Now it sounds great. So I'm gonna add this as a button, but it's gonna be a link. I'm just gonna name it button. Text white, yeah, BG Indigo 500, or 100 MD, Shadow LG. Um, we'll do like P2. Um, It's a button, and we will say button href <laughs> since we can, right? Um, we're gonna say route or URL for some route somewhere. Um, actually, you know what? We'll just do like hx post or something. I think this will create a new project. Yes. Um, so we'll say URL for pro projects create. Um, and we'll put a form around it because why not? Form for request projects create. Um, we'll say input type hidden. Oh my gosh, no wonder people like no code. Dealing with all this garbage. Value, repo, full name, name, title. Um, and then maybe you can rename it later, I guess. I don't know, whatever. 
Um, yeah, let's see how that looks. Oh my gosh, doesn't create, doesn't exist. I have to change that red, it looks bad. I should just change it to white. Just add it at the bottom. That's what we do. Outpost, um, projects, projects create. this oh that button is looking terrible wow wow that's bad okay it's kind of like a I'm like making a wizard um, uh, and new project okay still terrible but yeah the spacer whew, everything looks better So, oh, you know what? Do you really need a farm? Anyway, let's um, create the project. The first thing you need to do is insert into the database projects. Well, the first thing you need to do is get the current user, right? I can just get the ID, I guess, user, user ID. And then we can insert user's ID, user ID. We can, we can call it user's ID, why not? Um, and then we can also insert the params body. We can say name, name, what did I call it? What was it title? Wasn't it? We can just look at the schema. It was title. Title. Um, we can say request params. No, request body. Title, title. We'll do a little validation, right? We don't want to just insert into the database all willy nilly. I actually wrote code that generates this code. Probably use that. Actually, you know what? We'll just use it and copy and paste over. So we will say join create controller, which now that I think about it, it probably shouldn't be controller. It should probably be. Um, something else. Something something else. I don't know what it should be. Uh, oh my gosh, it's 750. Dang it. Once again, didn't get that far. Join create controller projects. Okay, that generated all this code that I had written ahead of time. We will grab this. Um, oh. That's interesting, I didn't know I didn't realize I had done that. I don't know if that works. I don't know. What? Projects dot? Did I do that? Do not remember that. That's interesting. Huh. Oh, I guess if they all have it. That's weird. I don't even remember doing that. Let's look at it. What? Um, template? No. Um, Controller.txt. Plural name. App columns name. Columns, 
table name. Oh, because the schema changed. I didn't realize I was doing that straight from the schema. Whoa, man. Well, whatever, right? It's fine. Um, we'll use it anyway. Um, yes, params. And then put that here as projects, params, params, projects. And we will say title. Title is it. That's it. Title. And permit title. That's all. And we will say projects params request. Oh my gosh, there's like birds. Wow. That's that's interesting. Okay. Yes, so projects params. I guess I can just show you what it does if I just import this frame rate. Wrap Janet S. Let's say import main. Oh no! Title. Now I remember why I switched to the to the Bluetooth ones. Jeez, this is like so crackly. Wow, that's yeah. I just plug it back in. It's it's fine. Sixty-seven. Oh, that was this. Validates title, permit title. Well, let's see the problem there. Title. Oh, right here. One seventy-seven. They mean, right? Is that line one sixty? Oh, one seventy-five. Put user side D and D. Um, that's first actually. So this now needs to be an as, so it's less confusing. All this just to put stuff in the database, you know? Alright, let me show you what it looks like. So if I am I crazy? Projects params, right? Am I at 175? Um, okay, what if I just. Okay, that's fine. Actually, it's probably cached or something. Oh my gosh. Does it really? Did I redefine this somehow? <sighs> okay, where where does it exist in Joy? It's like validator, right? Let's let's do that instead. Yeah, that, um, and that is what it says. Okay. Uh, this, sh this should be working. We'll just say project params. Okay. Try one more time. Main. Wow, this thing's really. 167. Wow, it really doesn't like that. Okay. What if I just show you. Let's just do use joy. And then we'll say. We'll just do it, right? 
just try it in the REPL instead. Um, use joy, bam. Okay, so that that actually works nice. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, and then if I do this body title, hello, right? It should return projects title. Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's because I did that, that helpful thing. Well, not that helpful when you're doing other things, right? Yep. Okay. Anyway, so that's how that works. You say keys you want to validate, right? Whether they're required or true. Um, there's other things too. Like, um, dot join params. I don't know if I have dot params. Um, yeah, there's quite a few. If we look at validator. All right, let me say params. So, oh, that's interesting. It doesn't keep the, uh, the thingy. Um, there are a few things right here. Required, min length, max length. You can override the message. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. All right. Um, yeah. So that takes the body of the request, validates that title is there, only takes out all other keys except for title. Um, now I can change this back to not question mark. Perfect. Um, all right, and then I put user's IDs in there. I put user ID and then what else? Oh, GitHub repo ID. Interesting. Yep. Oh, you know what? I'm not looking at the chat anymore. Even though it's been an hour. Hey, there's people in here. Yes. Hello. Didn't, didn't realize that. I don't know what's wrong with this chat thing. It's like, it should be saying when people join, but um, it doesn't, which really need to fix that. Um, all right, so I need title and what did I call it? GitHub repo ID. That's probably gonna come to bite me in the butt. What does GitHub repo stuff look like? Let's just take this part. Actually, we can just do that and then I'll fill in the <laughs> what is that like a robot emoji thing which is like I've never seen that before um all right this is still multi-line right oh no it's not wait yes it was Am I crazy all right let's import http first JSON, and then we'll do that. Token. Dev token. We'll just take, actually, oh, I shouldn't have. We'll do that one more time. And then we'll say dev token. Actually, we'll do this, and we'll say db find there's one. Oh my gosh. We'll connect to the database. And then we'll get this access token. Please don't use it. Um, actually, can you use it? Or do you need like the OAuth session? I'm pretty sure you can just use it. So, I don't know. I'm trying to do stuff on my behalf, I guess. So then we'll get this thing, finally. And we will say def token is not that, jeez. Okay, we'll get that token again. And we'll say def token. 
finally we will see what the output looks like. Oh, that's that's uh, not great. We'll do printf instead. Oh, that's even worse. I think it's a uh, capital M. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, jeez. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is a repo, right? And what else do we have? There is an ID. Okay, good thing I saved it as a text because I don't know what, what that is. There's no, like, UID. It's just this integer. Interesting choice, GitHub. Interesting choice. And then there's owner. Yep. Okay, so it's just ID, that's it, all that, just to find out it's ID, which is sane, nice and good. Um, okay, anything else? No, that's probably good. So then hopefully HTMX will post this, and I have a little bit right here that takes the um, CSRF token out of the meta tag, and... But I'm already in a form, so I don't really need that, but whatever. Okay, hopefully this will post um, to Projects Create. Let's take one last look at it before I do it. Yep. It looks okay. It's all right. Oh, title. Um, GitHub. Actually, we'll just do this as uppercase. What did I call it? Oh, I actually have underscores. Um, yeah. Projects create. Really gotta get that switch back and forth thingy working. Yeah. Get a repo ID. Okay, let's give it a shot. All right. Oh no. Oh no. Dashboard line 93. Something is, oh, that's because I changed this printf, yep. Okay, let's give it another shot. All right. Um, actually, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after I create a project. Should probably change this. What does HTMX say? HTMX says HTMX says Oh, let's just look at the original thing, the just the thing. HX post HX swap outer HTML. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna insert. Actually we're gonna rescue which is um, another thing that got generated that I forgot, which we can look at here. Brands, DB insert rescue. Yep, I should just take this, this whole bit. Okay, we'll just do it here. Error, right? Yep, errors project. And then we will say, Errors, um, oh, we'll return something. Otherwise we'll return, we'll say um, error has occurred. Otherwise we will say, because since we're gonna swap the outer HTML, I'm just gonna split this in two. Split down. say hx swap outer html and then projects create hey my dog decided to come in here oh that's a good girl all right um 
Yeah, so we're gonna swap with error has occurred if an error has occurred. Otherwise, we're gonna swap with, um, we'll just say something like, um, <laughs> something like success. Oh, you know what? We'll use this error thing. We'll use this error thing. Error. Error has occurred. Otherwise, success. It probably should be like a little animation or something, but we'll just say div suffering from success. All right, Let's see if it works. I I doubt it because I feel like I missed something. But oh, oh, it's working. Oh, you know what? This isn't working because it's um it's returning the whole layout. <laughs> So that's why this is here. Um, so this should do this instead. I should really have something like layout false or something, like where I just like set a dine, like layout false, and then reset it later. But for right now, it's just this. Or maybe I could just say layout false and then return that like that. And we made no layout. But anyway, right now it's text HTML, which, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay, and then I have to change this to say, if, um, oh, I have to get repos out of the database, right? I have to get projects, projects, db, fetch, um, actually, yeah, fetch users id projects. Lim out. You know what? No, we won't we'll limit. No limit. Projects. If oh, actually, we'll get projects where um, GitHub repo ID equals. Let's do it in a loop. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. Right? Actually. We can do it. Map repos ID. And then we will say let project get oh filter projects equals ID, um, a repo ID. It's kind of a roundabout way to do it, but there you go. And we will say if if project don't show just to show suffering from success. There we go. Oh, terrible. Let's look at um what projects looks like print f debugging for life doing this um okay let's see what it looks like oh there's no projects the project was not created doesn't look like it anyway let's go back to the rebel db find db from projects oh there it is um, oh, get every repo ID is an integer where it should be a string. That is the problem. Oh, actually, user's ID too? Interesting. Back to dashboard. DB from projects where user's ID. Um, actually, yeah, why am I doing that? Let's just, yeah, let's just get the users like I was doing before. Users. Um, ID projects there and then we'll filter projects and say um, we'll turn this into a string turn repo ID into a string and then that is going to not be good I think I did something wrong here. Pr 
projects. What did I do wrong? What does it, what does it really say? What is it really trying to say? Projects invoked on GitHub repo ID. I feel like that's a misplaced paren, but we'll see. Oh, yep, same thing. Projects invoked. Um, let's look at it. Let's look at projects. Should actually have some now. Um, yep, there it is. There it is. And somehow unknown method projects invoked on GitHub repo ID. Um, what if I just do this so I'm not going crazy? String repo ID. Oh, that might have been it. Let's see. Nope, that wasn't it. I think I want to do something like this instead. Instead of trying to filter in memory, just leave it up to um, dashboard. Just leave it up to. Oh my gosh, Adam, killing me. Oh, we'll just say project db fetch projects, and then we'll say scan num. Actually, no, we'll say string repo id. And then that should give me a project. We don't care. SQLite don't care if you're in if you're in a um, in a loop. Um, wow, that's bad. Still didn't pick it up. Um, yeah, interesting. Not one single single project. Project string repo ID. Let's look at string repo ID. Yes. I will find out what this is. Okay, repo ID. Let's look at ours. 296. Oh, it says first one. Um, yeah, there you go. Oh, it has to be an ID because I'm using fetch. Wow, it's my own framework. I don't even know what I'm doing. That's nice. Projects. Where? Users ID, ID. And then GitHub repo ID, string repo ID. It'd be nice if I did that in the first place. We'll say um, find by to get the first project. Okay. Iterable. Oh my gosh. Let's just put this in the um, in the thing. Let's see if I'm going crazy. Let's try it. Oh, we some um, work backwards from the database. Oh, so that does work. Okay, so it's something else then. Although. Maybe I should make this two lines, just so. Maybe I should stack this like this. Perrin for going kind of crazy, doesn't like that. Yeah, it looks a little better, more readable. Project, if project, separate and form or. Seems like, seems like it should be working, right? We got 115, if project. Oh, it doesn't like this string. Maybe I should make strings work in that HTML thing. There it is. Wow, that was a journey. That was a journey we took. Um, and uh, you know what? We overcame it though. Now it's now it's working. So there it is. There is one difference though. It seems like suffering from success. And this is yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Not bad. Um, got something going. I could go back in the database and see if I have more projects. Yep. Okay, cool. So I should probably, instead of suffering from success, I should change it to be added. Oh, actually, 
this should be a remove button, right? Yes. Let's make it a remove button. Button remove. It shouldn't be a button, it should be a link. Yeah. And then it should be hx delete URL for projects delete um, hx swap outer HTML. And then that is going to be something like. Oh, this is my dashboard one. There we go. Delete. And this is going to be projects delete, but then which project, right? It's going to be project ID. There we go. Oh, I can show you URL for too. Um, now that I have this URL, I think. Yeah. So this is going to be something like that. And then, yeah, I can get out of this. Use joy, import main. Oh, it doesn't like that. But why doesn't it like it? 187, unassembled projects. Oh. Okay, let's try that one more time. Import main, which should be to use joy. Unassembled projects create. Oh, that's weird. Here, we'll do this here. Oh, it's because I have too many. I wish parent fur would actually help me instead of um, hurting me. There we go. All right. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. URL for, oh, right, because I'm, phew, wow. It'd be nice if I could keep everything straight. Actually, is it like a refresh thing now? I don't know. Let's see. Was that? Oh. Let's doc import. Can we do that? Or args. Oh, what are args? Uh, export to re export. Exit prefix. Hmm. Let's do it again anyway. Main use joy. Okay. URL for projects delete. And then we do ID one. And then it does projects one. That is how it goes. So this one's pretty easy. All you have to do is get the project, db find project by, I, oh, you know what, this already exists over here. Let's just look at it, right? Projects delete. Oh, even better. I have it down to two li uh, three lines, right? <laughs> Incredible. The things I wrote before. There we go. But I don't want to redirect. Instead, what I want to do is return um, a link. No, I want to return the button, right? I want to return the um, this again. Now, a HX is like, it kind of gets you into this like weird thing where you have to keep um, either duplicating or you have to like really heavily componentize your stuff, which I mean, you would be doing anyway, um, but um, but yeah. So like here, we would say um, uh, projects create button, right? We don't even need to be a def end, do we? Interesting. Um, yeah, I guess I don't. It could just be a dev project uh, projects create button. <laughs> a lot of slashes. We can do um, like a cool, a cool guy thing. Projects button. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to call that. Projects um, button create. Yeah, I don't know, but it's a work in progress. Projects button create. Put that here. And then we can reuse that here, right? Um, it's weird to have it as 
it, I mean, it does work, but it's actually, I don't even know if it does work because I think I defined the route after. See, so yeah, we you probably want to call that as a function. Projects um, create button. That's that's much better. I like that way better. So we'll just say projects create button, and then that'll be fine. And then I can use that way down here. I should probably move it to the um, projects create button. helpers maybe sure why not yes I do everything in one file don't judge me you know why you shouldn't judge me because look it's working for this guy all right I already retweeted this but I want to talk about it look this guy what did he say um, where is it um, somewhere man he tweets a lot jeez he should um yeah he should tweet less Oh, here we go. Single PHP file called index.php. He made some money, right? Not bad. $65,000 in one month. It's pretty good. Plus, he also uses... Um, oh, did I, oh, yeah, I retweeted this. He uses SQLite. Yes. And um, not only that, but he does it in production and it handles 100 million requests a month. Dude, you'll never outgrow SQLite. You will never... As an as a indie hacker, solo developer, you'll never outgrow it, ever. So just use it. Don't worry about Postgres. Don't, don't do that. You don't need that. All right? No one needs that. So here, we're going to return. It is epic, right? Um, yeah, it's incredible. Anyway, yeah, I love that guy. You should follow him. He's, uh, he's, pretty, he's a crazy dude. All right, let's see. Delete and then return create button, but of course I, my layout situation is dire, so I have to wrap it in text HTML to return a, like a circlet or a, a halo status. Um, yeah, so it should if I remove it should show create, and if I oh I don't have project project wrecked. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Maybe I'll bring that in. Yeah, not bad. That's a lot. There we go. Whoops. Probably in helpers, though. Oh, I'm actually like making patterns as I go. It's kind of interesting. Because I have this already. <laughs> I have user up here, and it almost does the same thing. Oh. Wow. Cool. All right. So project rec, delete project, show show create, and then let's see if it works. Oh my goodness, this server's not even running. Oh, right, this is called request. It's right, literally right below it. Okay, so it just says added because I did not do, oh, I need to, this is um, remove, yeah. We can do the same thing, right? As so we'll say projects, projects delete button, even though it's link, doesn't matter. Okay, so pass project, right? It needs a project. Oh, this makes sense that the components are functions, so I can pass things in <laughs> into URL for. Okay, projects delete button, and I think I have what added. Is that what I said? Yeah, that's terrible. So here we can say projects delete button. Um, <laughs> yeah, pickle fleek. Um, it is it is an important question. I think spacebar obviously. I mean, look at all these spaces, right? I clearly don't care about file size. Um, okay, let's see if it works. So this instead of added, it should show. Oh my gosh. Oh right project right yep delete button yep okay wow again url4 got one. Oh, i can just pass project but that should be the only place that that 
a oh, project and I can just use delete button project. All right, now that I'm using my actual, there it is. There it is. Incredible, no animations or anything, but what are you gonna do? Actually, what does Tailwind have for that? Is that like a hover situation or what, what can I do here? J hover. Let's see. Oh, there's like a video. What? Just show me the docs, man. Show me the docs. Okay, focus, active, click me. Oh, interesting. Active, group hover. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Group focus, not bad. Focus within. Hey, thank you. Yeah, oh, oh, it's not nice yet. What is the error though, right, when I added? If errors, let's look at the errors. Print dev errors would be nice. Actually, I'll just show them. I'll just show them. Just show them on the screen for now. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, wait. Why is it working? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, it's because after I remove. This is somehow not right. Oh, yep, because I'm just doing HX post and it is not sending the rest of the stuff. So we can see it here. Yep, yep. So not only do I have to make the create button because originally I had it in a form for, that's what it is, wow. I really have to remember everything that I do instead of just sort of, oh, here we go. So I can't just put this, <laughs> this probably needs to be part of the button. <laughs> oh, HTMX. I'll, I'll get the hang of it eventually. There we go. More spaces, less tabs. Perfect. I could add some more spaces to the file. That'd be good. All right, now. If I just get this one, there we go. This needs a repo. This needs a repo. Yep, projects create button needs a repo. And it has a repo. Where else is it used? Oh. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there. What does it need for the repo? Oh, I can just use, um, I can use, I really just need a, this, like, thank goodness this isn't an object and it's not object oriented programming. I really just need a map with full name and ID. Um, so when I delete, I can do this. I can just say ID is actually project um, GitHub repo ID and full name is just the title. Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh. Request. Oh, it also needs the request because of the form. Yeah, but that's just for the CSRF token. We're gonna go. We're gonna go full HTMX on this. I can just. I know what I'm gonna do. Because hopefully it's adding the um, to the headers. We'll watch the network. We'll watch the network tab and see what happens. I don't need request. I can just say form done. <laughs> yeah, I guess I do. That's weird. All right. Okay, Silicon Valley, such a good show. I love that. I loved that show. Actually, I don't even think I finished it. All right, let's see. Okay. Oh, that's it. That's it right there. So this is cool. So it's actually, it is adding the header. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, that's it right there. Yep, I don't want to add that many change logs. Actually, do I want to add that many change logs? I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I watch Silicon Valley. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it's it's so good. But yeah, I, I am like Gilfoy. I actually wear glasses, but I, I wear contacts. So I, I would be even more like Gilfoyle if, uh, <laughs> if I had my glasses on. All right, so step one is done. All right, I've been streaming for like an hour and a half. That's insane. I should, I should probably call it, call it a night. All right, well, thank you guys for um, watching the stream. And um, I actually, I feel like it's pretty productive. Yeah, I feel like it was pretty good. All right, um, until not tomorrow, but Thursday. All right, see you later. It'd be nice if I could stop the stream too. That'd be great. I promise to actually see you later. Okay, see ya.